The sun rose over Dinosaur Camp, casting a warm glow across the campsite. It was a new day of adventure, and the campers were brimming with excitement. Today, they were about to catch fossil fever. As the campers gathered near the campfire, Sarah and Max stood before them, wearing their explorer hats adorned with fossil pins. Sarah held a model of a prehistoric plant in her hand, while Max held a lifelike ammonite fossil. Good morning, campers. Sarah greeted with a cheerful smile. Today, we're diving deep into the world of fossils, the ancient remains of creatures that once roamed the earth. Max added, fossils are like snapshots of the past, and by studying them, we can piece together the incredible history of life on our planet. The campers listened with rapt attention as Sarah explained the different types of fossils they might encounter, from plant imprints to the petrified remains of ancient sea creatures. Now, Max said, it's time for a hands-on fossil hunt. The campers' faces lit up with excitement as Sarah and Max distributed tools, brushes, chisels, and small hammers for splitting rocks. Each camper was given a field notebook to record their discoveries. Their destination was a rocky outcrop, where the promise of ancient treasures awaited. The campers approached the site with a sense of awe, eager to uncover the mysteries hidden beneath the Earth's surface. Sarah demonstrated how to carefully brush away dirt and sediment to reveal fossils hidden in the rocks. Max showed them how to split rocks to find fossils trapped inside. Remember, Sarah reminded them, fossils are like puzzles, and each piece tells a story. Treat them gently and with respect. The campers set to work, their brushes and chisels in hand. They tapped and brushed with care slowly revealing the hidden relics of the past. It wasn't long before the first discoveries were made. Alex, the budding paleontologist, uncovered the imprint of a prehistoric leaf, perfectly preserved in stone. Maya, with her keen eye for detail, found a beautifully preserved trilobite fossil, a creature from the ancient seas. The campers gathered around these discoveries, their eyes wide with wonder. Sarah and Max provided guidance on how to identify different species and explain the significance of each find. As the day progressed, the campers unearthed more treasures, from intricate fish fossils to the delicate outline of a dinosaur footprint. Each discovery filled them with a sense of awe and connection to the past. Max couldn't help but share his enthusiasm. Fossils are like time capsules, he said, and each one holds a piece of Earth's history. It's like being a detective, piecing together the puzzle of life. Sarah added, and you, our young paleontologists, are uncovering those clues today. By late afternoon, the campers had collected a diverse array of fossils, each one a testament to the incredible diversity of life that had existed millions of years ago. With their notebooks filled with sketches and observations, they returned to camp. That evening, as they gathered around the campfire, the campers shared stories of their fossil discoveries. Maya displayed her photographs, capturing the beauty of their finds. Sarah announced, tomorrow, we'll dive even deeper into the world of fossils. But for now, let's celebrate our day of fossil fever. As the campfire crackled and the stars shone overhead, the campers felt a deep sense of accomplishment. They had learned about fossils, uncovered ancient relics, and made a connection to the distant past. But their journey was far from over. The prehistoric world held many more secrets, and Dinosaur Camp had only just begun. With dreams of fossils and adventure, they settled into their cabins, eager for the next day's discoveries. As always, visit us at www.readthetale.com for all your favorite tales and stories.